Yo too, man, what's good with y'all? You feel me? I'm back with another video. Listen, 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 listen. To all of those, you know, who are on a streak of retention, you know, and you probably relapsed. Um, this video is really for you. You know, so if you recently relapsed or, you know, you are on a streak of retention, no fap, monk mode, whatever you were doing, you know, that is, you know, trying to better your life. You know, trying to help you, you know, get in good standings with you and God. Because when you retain, fellas, you know, this is something God wants everybody to do. Hold on to their sanctification, to be pure, to go celibate until you're in the marital union. Then you can do the, you can do to do. You know, you can do to do. Bro, God, y'all got to realize something about God. God, if God puts you and a female together and y'all both are married, he brings that woman to you, right? And y'all both are married. You know, he, he y'all both are married, established in Christ, bro. You can do the do in that marriage. He he doesn't care, because as long as you are in that marital state, he has put you both together. Y'all both are married. You know, in the name of Christ, you both are, are married. You both, you know, you put Christ above, you know, your relationship, bro. God doesn't care what you do next. You know, in the relationship, of course, don't do wicked things, obviously, but. When it's time to procreate, when it's time to have intercourse with your partner, bro, that's fine because you're in marriage. This is what people don't understand, man. Look, if you want to do such things, why don't you just marry that female? You know, but society, they think marriage is a bad thing. They just want to fornicate. They just want to have have sex. They just want to do it because, oh, it's the cool thing to do. Oh, you keep adding bodies to, to who you are. You keep adding bodies to, to, your, um, to your name. So you're cool people, bro. This is how people think, you know, bro. I used to think the same way, y'all. But now that, you know, God has transformed my, uh, my mind. He has, re God has renewed my mind. Like it says in the word of God, you know, be transformed by the renewal, renewal of your mind and do not be conformed to this world. You know, bro, that's facts. That is facts. When God renews your mind, you, you, you're going to see the things that you used to do and look at it like it's, it's, it's dumb now. It, why were you doing it? You know, but people who are stuck in that way, we're just trying to help these people. We, we truly are. If you are on a streak of NoFap, you know, now I got that out the way. If you are on a streak of NoFap and you relapsed or semen retention, uh, monk mode, whatever you're practicing, probably, probably even stop, you probably stop smoking weed. Let's say you relapsed, right, on doing such, such things. You got to realize it does not mean all your progress is gone. It does not mean what you have, you know, achieved during that, you know, stage of you holding on to that streak. It does not mean everything that you have worked for is gone. Disclaimer, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna put a huge disclaimer before I continue the video. This is not me saying relapsing is okay. This is not me telling you to go relapse. No, that is the huge disclaimer. I don't want nobody to, to, to put it in the comment section. Oh, Nana said we should relapse. Nana said we should do this. I didn't say nothing. You should do nothing wicked. No, don't do it. All I'm telling you is, let's say you do fall short. Let's, let's say you do, you know, fall into that relapse state. You do relapse, right? You got to realize not all your progress is not gone. It's not all gone. You can still build yourself back up. You just got to repent for what you have just done. And when you when you repent, y'all, you got to realize when you repent in the name of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you can't go back into doing such things. This is what some of y'all don't really uh, understand about repentance. When you repent from doing wicked things, sinful things, you can't go back after you repent in the name of Jesus Christ. If you truly believe it in your heart that you are repenting from what you are doing, you can't go back. You know, my last relapse, I repented, bro. So me even having that thought of going to relapse, it, it scares me. It really does. You know, that's that's the Holy Spirit that is within me. When the Spirit of God is in you, y'all, you, you get a sense of conviction. You know, when I made that video about, you know, the conviction, the Holy Spirit convicting you when you want to do something wicked. It's like God is telling you, hey, don't do it. Something in you, right, is, is, is preventing you from doing such an act. That is the Holy Spirit. That is the Spirit of God that is trying to help you not to fall into wicked, you know, acts. Yes, that is real, y'all. See, this is why it's so real that y'all understand that it's a spiritual world. Bro, it is. Because such things that you can, it can it's like something just stops you from, from, from doing such things. 
how, how, how does that even make sense? You know, sometimes I'd be like, wow, that is it's spiritual. It, it wasn't your flesh. No, it was a spirit. That's the spirit of God that saved you from doing a sinful thing. And I'm very grateful that I have the spirit of God within me. You know, I'm going to make a video of, of how to attain the, the spirit of God, how to attain the Holy Spirit. I'm going to make a video on that. You know, when you're about to do something bad, bro, the Holy Spirit stops you. I'm, bro, I'm telling y'all, if you are a fellow brother or sister watching me right now and you have the Holy Spirit within you, you know, you have the spirit of God upon you. Oh, my God. It, it's like when you want to do something so-called wicked, you can't do it. You, you, you just can't. You know, when, when I get those thoughts of, oh, go relapse and relapse, bro, I, I, I can't do it. It's, it's like something is just stopping me from, from, from doing that. For real. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but nah, some people will relate. Some people will really relate to this. And if you do, please let me know. Because I know for a fact I have a lot of people who watch my videos. I know this. Not everybody comments, and I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, people going to watch, but they're not going to comment. That's just life. But people who do comment, I really appreciate it. You know, this sh this goes to show me you're a true supporter. This goes to show me you really rock with what I'm doing. You appreciate the type of knowledge and time I'm putting into this. Because, yeah, bro, I could keep all this information to myself. I really can. But I'm here to help the world. I'm here to put people onto game. Relapsing is, is, is wicked. Yes, it's a sin. Yes. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, if you relapse, oh, okay, you did a good thing. No. If you relapsed, you did something horrible. You did something bad. Yes, bro, I got to tell you like it is. But it does not mean you lost all progress. It does not mean what you have achieved during that streak of, of not doing the wicked, you know, the wicked act. It does not mean all of that progress is gone when you relapse. No, y'all. Just repent and make sure it does not happen again. Because if you do fall into, you know, if you do fall short again after you repented, it's going to hit you even different. When you relapse after you repent, it's going to hit you very, very different. As in the, the consequences, it's going to hurt. Oh, yeah, it's going to hurt. You're going to, you're going to, you're really going to get punished by God. Because you literally repented in his name. You did. You, 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 you confessed out of your mouth that you are repenting from such an act. And then you go ahead and you do it again. You're going to face consequences. God will punish you. And you can't be mad about, you can't be mad at God for punishing you for, 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 you know, you lying about what you said you were going to do. It's just, it's just God wants you to learn, bro. The reason why God punishes us sometimes is he wants us to learn. You know, the relapses I've encountered during my streaks, bro, <laughs> me just thinking about a relapse scares me. I, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> bro i'm telling you i can't do it i can't it is it's, it's it's frightening to know what's going to happen next after you relapse because you know you repented in the name of jesus christ and you're gonna face huge consequences when you go against your word and god's word because you said you repented you confessed that out of your mouth yes so if you go against it the consequences is god god just gonna bring it upon you man and you can't be mad at God for that. You know, you, you, you can't be mad at God for that. You, you don't even be mad at yourself or else you're going to fall into that depressive state. We all know relapsing is not a fun thing. It's not, man. The relapses I have encountered, you know, to be able to, you know, reach where I'm at now, it's, it's, it's crazy, y'all. You know, obviously, before I found retention, it was it was countless amount, amount of relapses. Every single day I was relapsing. Pornography, pornography, pornography. Yes, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I have a lot of videos on my channel talking about how I used to struggle with that. Yes. You know, used to struggle with, you know, looking at women like sex objects. You know, just looking at women like they weren't human. Bro, I was struggling because of por porn did that to me, bro. And if you're still watching it, learn from my mistakes. Even learn from your mistakes. You know, the, the way you feel after you watch it, that's not how you're supposed to feel as a human being. God doesn't want nobody to feel that way. But you do it to yourself when you go watch those websites, y'all. Remember that, bro. It's all you. It's a mental thing as well, y'all. When you relapse, it's all mental. It, it ain't it ain't something that, you know, okay, I relapse. You know, if you beat yourself up mentally, then you, you're just going to be depressed. It's a mental game when you relapse, man. 
as in like the state you're in, the way you're going to be feeling, the way you're going to think of what you just did. It's all a mental game. If you put in your mind that, hey, I just relapsed. I know it's bad. I know it, I know I was not supposed to do that. And I know I just disobeyed God. But guess what? I'm going to repent and I'm never going to do it again. And I'm going to hit that one year streak. That's how you have to bounce back mentally. That's how you got to do it. Yeah. If you rock out with this, man, leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. Comment down below. If you fired up, put some fire emojis because I'm fired up. <laughs> I'm back. And so It feels so good to be back. I'm back in my prime. Woo! I'm back in my... You know, I had to go through those trials. I had to go through the temptation to make me stronger. I told y'all, bro. What, what, what did I tell y'all what God does when you go through hard times? I made a video about it like two days ago. Go watch that video if you haven't. God puts these certain things in our lives to build us, to make us stronger. I am stronger than ever spiritually, physically, mentally, all aspects of my life. I cannot be broken, especially by the enemy. The enemy cannot break me because I've, 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 I've felt everything I'm supposed to feel. And this is where I'm at. God has done everything he can in my life. Now it's my turn to, you know, it's, he's waiting on me. God's waiting on me. Sometimes God waits on y'all to make the first step for him to start blessing you. So make that first step, y'all. This video, I know I'm speaking to somebody. Get inspired. Make the first step. Whatever it is, a business, a job, new opportunity, you know, a relationship. Make the first step. I know I'm speaking to somebody because the Holy Spirit is in me whoever it is it, it will it will get to them it will it will hit somebody's spirit differently man god is so good if god is good let me get a let me get let me get a god is so good in the comment section man let's go how can how can't you love god how can't you love jesus christ how can't you he literally died for us gave us salvation it's it's, it's incredible I get in, bro. I literally get inspired by Jesus Christ. When I look up to, I look up to Jesus Christ. I look up to him. That man was he's such an inspiration. What he did on earth, while he walked this earth, what he did was insane. No other man can do what Jesus Christ did. Yeah, y'all gotta realize that, bro. Jesus Christ was the only man who walked this earth without sin. He did not sin. How does that not inspire you? How? But you looking up to rappers, you must be crazy. If you're looking up to rappers, you need to change who you're looking up to. I look up to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. A rapper, a, a rapper didn't save me. A rapper didn't give me salvation. No, Jesus Christ did. And that's a fact. Woo! Man, this video is about to be a banger. This video is going to blow up. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, a relapse does not mean all progress is lost. God still loves you. That you see how crazy it is how God's love is, is is just so so huge so big so God is so merciful we serve a merciful God like even though you committed such an act he still loves you like 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 God is so good even though you relapsed you did the most wicked filthiest thing God still loves you and some people would just be, 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 be throwing dirt on, on Christ's name. They just be blaspheming Christ's name. They just be throwing dirt on God's name, man. It, it's sad, bro. Because the amount of the amount of love God has for every single one of his children, you can't find that nowhere else, man. You just can't. And, and, and no and no human being can give you the love God gives you. No human being. I'm telling y'all, bro. We can't keep taking God's love for granted. We can't keep taking what God does for us for granted. I'm never going to take it for granted. I'm going to continue to worship God because I know the blessings that God will bring in my life, it's going to last forever and it will never stop. I, I need to make a video too about the, the two types of blessings. You know, I need to make a video about that because I'm, I'm, I'm on fire right now, y'all. If you can tell, I am on fire. If you see me with the same outfit, everything, I'm on fire. I'm making back-to-back -back bangers. I'm, I'm done playing around. I'm really done playing around. People been disrespecting me. I've been, I've been seeing it. You know, they, they don't know who, who, who Nano the Soul really is. And I'm here to let them know through my vids. I'm here to let them know banger after banger after banger. <laughs> Let's go. A relapse, fellas. Pick your head up. Your life is not over. Stop crying. You know, stop, stop, stop feeling bad for yourself. We know it, it feels bad to relapse. I've been there. I want you to truly look at me 
and 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 and, and, and listen to what I'm saying. I have been in your shoes, continuously relapsing. I've been there, bro. You know, probably rela you know, even re relapsing on the weed, relapsing on uh, uh, porn. You know, um, just doing wicked things. I went back to it for a couple uh, weeks, couple months, and then I repented, and now I, I, I'm not doing it again. That's what it's about, y'all. Look at me and get inspired by what I have done and what I've been through. My story should inspire you. Look at my first video ever on my channel. It should really inspire you to, to, to this day of what I am doing, bro. And if you just, if you hate on me, you just hate yourself. If, if anybody hates on somebody like me, you just don't like yourself. That's just what it is. People who hate on people, they, they don't like themselves. That's just what it comes down to. There's no need to hate. I'm here to help you. I'm here to let you know what's up. I'm here to put you in good standings with God. I'm here to help you get in good standings with God. Facts. Because I've been going in the right path. I've been going in the right direction. All this time, I have. You know, I may be questioning, you know, am I doing the right thing? But now I know for a fact I'm doing the right thing. Fellas, man, stay on this journey. Females, stay on this journey. You know, stay on this journey. Why would you want to quit? Why would you want to give up? Why would you want to throw it all away? You know, just because you relapsed a couple of times. So you're mad at yourself. So you're just going to stop. It, it gets to that point where some people relapse and they just depressed and they just down bad and they, they just stop practicing, you know, celibacy. They start practicing retention because they got so angry at themselves that they relapsed. We all fall short of the glory of God. It even says it in the Bible. Is that in the book of Romans? We all fall short. We all, we all have sinned and we all fall short. Facts. Nobody's going to be on this earth without sinning. But this is why Jesus Christ has come to die for us and give us salvation in his name. For real, y'all. Remember that. You're not going to find no other you know, name with salvation in it. No, There's no other name but Jesus Christ with salvation in it. Am I lying? Exactly. I love y'all, bro. I love y'all, bro. I love y'all so much. This is why I, I, I take the time out every single day. Every day. Every day I do this because I truly love what I do. I truly do. If I didn't love what I did, bro, I would have been quit. <laughs> I would have been stopped making videos. But why do you think I'm still doing this? Because this is my calling. Because I'm helping. I'm actually helping people. I realize it's nothing, y'all. Get back up. Repent in the name of Jesus Christ and keep your head up and keep going. Because everything you go through will make you stronger. Just look at my life story if you want to. Or even your life story of where you're currently at. And get inspired off of that. Even look at the story, you know, read the, read the Bible. Every book. You know, I haven't read all the books yet, but I'm getting there. I'm still learning. I'm still getting into the word of God. But just get inspired by the, by the, by the story, you know, what Jesus Christ did for us on that cross. Get inspired by that. Truly, truly read the Bible if you want to get true inspiration. I'm telling y'all, fellas, it's going to do something to you. Even y'all females, y'all women, read the Bible as well. You're going to see the inspiration you're going to get. You're going to be so fired up. You're going to be like, man, this is what Jesus Christ really did for us. You're going to be like, this is crazy. I love y'all, man. <laughs> no, 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 glow. God is telling me to keep it up. Yeah, I love y'all, man. More videos to come. Stay tuned. Turn on that post notifications and subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>